But let's see if we can solve this problem. We have this box, it's held above the spring and then it's let go of and drops on the spring and we wanna know how far the spring gets compressed. Notice initially the box is held above the spring. That means it has gravitational potential energy. But once the box actually compresses the spring, now we have elastic potential energy stored in the spring. Now energy must be conserved. So what we can do is we can say that the potential energy due to gravity is equal to the potential energy due to the spring. And if you look up the equations for gravitational and elastic potential energy, you should end up with an equation that looks like this. Now you may have noticed that I used H prime here instead of H. The reason is, is because this H accounts for the height that the box is above the spring, but that's not how far the box is falling down. The box is gonna fall down the height of the spring plus this little displacement. So H prime and H are not going to be the same thing. H prime is gonna be equivalent to H plus X because it's gonna be the height we drop down plus the displacement right here. So assuming that you're given your mass and the spring constant, height h will be given to us and we know the gravity constant of Earth, all you would need to do is use algebra to solve for the missing variable x. So this is the equation that you would need.